Hello guys, this is Diana, one of the administrators of this group and a Canva certified creative. Okay, so I have been uh, watching our group and I keep seeing you guys creating these amazing digital paintings or posters and they are amazing. I'm really enjoying like watching you guys designing and leaving us these beautiful, beautiful designs. So I was thinking about them and I wanted to create mine, but I also wanted to take it to the next level. Okay, so I want to show you how I created mine. Okay, so this is mine. And as you can see, my painting has movement and it's, uh, I think, really cool. And I wanted to show you guys how I created it. So the first thing that I did uh, it's to go to my Canva and go straight away here to the search box and type poster. So like that I have an empty Canva. I'm going to go for blank, blank. <laughs> and I'm going to start painting. So uh, the first thing that I did this time is to instead of going to the images or elements uh, tab section, I went straight to videos and that's the secret. So I searched for sunset because I wanted to have this really orange and nice sunset. And I found this beautiful, beautiful video. So I guess this is for Canva Pro subscribers, but you can also have access to a bunch of different free videos. You can apply here the filter and you will also find a bunch of beautiful videos. So let's go again to the pro one and I'm going to select this one with the sun, big, big sun. And I'm going to leave it like this more or less so I can see a big portion of the sun, but I can also see the birds flying. Next thing I did was to go to the elements tab and type mountains. I think it was this one and as you can see here this is also a pro element so I'm going to stretch these mountains because as you can see in the video the mountains look very big so I'm going to make it big and I'm going to change the colors of the mountain to match my background so I'm going to uh, watch the element and I'm going to kind of like identify the colors here so for example this dark blue I will go here to new color and below here we also have a slider so I'm going to go for the orange as you can see my background is kind of orange so I will go for the same and then I will change the other three colors here I'm going to go for the orange and let's keep changing the other colors let's make it kind of like dark go this way and again with this other slider doesn't have to be like super perfect just trying to use kind of like the same color palette more or less and then what I'm going to do is to duplicate this element. I'm going to click here on duplicate. There is a button here. And now what I'm going to do is to flip horizontally. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Make it maybe bring it here to the bottom. And something like this. Maybe I'll change again one of these colors to make it a little bit more bright, more orange. Okay, something kind of like this. So we have a little bit more of contrast and maybe, yeah, let's leave it behind. Okay, so the next step that I did is to go to photos and then I search by isolated bird. So let's click here and I found these beautiful isolated birds that I positioned here in the, in the sky. 
kind of like flying around. I have seen a lot of these kind of birds in Sydney, so that reminded me of the Sydney sky. <laughs> okay, so the other step was to find a camel. Then I found something that I liked here. This one, I loved this one. And then I went to effects and removed the background. Because um, we already have a sun, we already have a sky, we already have like everything. And I just wanted to have the little person pulling the camel uh, through the mountains. I made it really small because we have to pay attention to the scale, like the dimension. Uh, they are really far away, so they need to look really small. And now I'm going to duplicate it. And this time I want to delete the small guy and maybe make the camel a little bit smaller. Let me put this one bigger and let's make this camel a little bit smaller. Maybe it's like the baby camel and this is the mother. And then I thought like maybe I don't want this guy to go alone, so I will make a friend behind him and maybe let's put him somewhere here going up something like this and that will be it so we can just uh, check how our video is looking here let's go and play this element and we can see the birds flying around and I think this gives our design or our poster something extra, something different. So I would love to see you guys uh, creating this kind of painting or posters, but with some video elements. Uh, I think this can make um, a difference and I cannot wait to see your creations. Okay, bye and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.